From the Hofstra Pride, we have head coach Danielle Santos Atkinson and Sandra Carlson. Uh, we're going to open with some brief remarks from coach and then field questions from the media. Going into this year, we had 15 returning players, uh, all players coming back in completely different roles. Uh, they've all, they all came back doing, doing everything that I asked them to do. Um, we worked really hard in the off season. We worked really hard in, in, in the preseason and going into this year. Uh, and and they, they really persevered. Um, I'm proud of their effort and the and things that they did every day in practice. Uh, it's been a really tough year for us. It's been a tough year, and, and we wanted different results. Um, we were working towards different results, and I commend this team with the way they came out and fought game after game, practice after practice. Uh, there wasn't a time throughout this, this conference season that I thought we quit. Uh, and, I, and I think and I hope that our, our play reflected that. These, these ladies came out uh, and, and they gave their all. There's, there's a lot that we need to work on and, and a lot that we're going to get better at and continue to work at. Um, but the way they continue to fight throughout this season, I'm, I'm really proud of their effort. Uh, with this Elon game, one of our biggest areas of growth that we've needed to work on uh, has been taking care of the ball. And we saw that tonight in our, in our 23 turnovers. Uh, to start the game, we had two turnovers in, in the first five minutes, and, and we started the game playing really well. The, the remainder of that half, we had 15, and that put us in a hole, and it was really tough to come back from that hole. In the second quarter, we played a lot better in the second quarter. We had, we had uh, three, uh, four, four turnovers uh, in, that, in that second quarter and did a much better job of taking care of the ball and really working towards our game plan in, the, in that second half. Uh, so we're going to continue to build from that. We're going to continue to grow um, our young core, but really proud of the way our seniors finished out. We're going to continue to work it. We're going to continue to work. Um, in this in this postseason, we just talked about our, our biggest growth, and, and our biggest growth has got to be between the years. Uh, and, and learning the next level of how to compete, the next level of how hard it really takes, how much, how hard it really is to win. And, and we've got to understand uh, the consistency that it takes, not just in the 40 minutes of the game, but the consistency every single day at working at a, at a tempo and, and at a level in order to be your best. Um, and so we're going to continue to push those guys that are with us. We're going to continue to work on those that are going to be joining us for next year. Uh, and we're going to make sure that team is prepared and ready to go. Sandra, two-parter here. First of all, you end your career with a solid 14-point night here. I mean, can you just speak to how you felt your, throughout your entire career here and you know, what it was like to be a member of Hofstra Pride and just put on that jersey each and every night? Uh, it's, uh, it's awesome. It's an opportunity. Uh, not everybody gets to do it, so I'm very happy. I get to do it, and I love this team. There's really good persons in this team, funny people. So it made it really special to be able to be these four years with these people. And the second part of that, of course, is now your four years here. You've had a lot of time to grow and develop. How do you see the future of this team looking? Great. I, <laughs> excuse me, great, because Santos is a great coach. She's a really good coach. She knows what she's talking about. Now she gets to have a full off season with the whole team and she's going to make the work. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. Well, it's going to be tough. Sandra yeah. uh, definitely as you guys could see in her play tonight. Um this is how she works and competes every single day. And she's a, she's a really special player and uh, as you guys saw, um this is no surprise that this is how she's finished out her career. Any other questions for coach or Sandra? Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.